Struggling to come up with fresh blog content? Well, you could fix that by using ChatGPT. In today's video, I'll show you how you can easily plan new blog content with ChatGPT keyword research. So if you want to do effective keyword research on ChatGPT, you need the best prompts. So let's use Keywords Everywhere. This browser add-on has hundreds of amazing ChatGPT prompts you can use. So once you have this installed, log in to ChatGPT, and you'll see this Templates button on the bottom left-hand corner. Now this ChatGPT prompt templates widget has hundreds of templates for a variety of use cases. And today we want to plan out new blog content. So we are going to click on the SEO category and we are going to click on the keyword research subcategory to reveal all of the keyword research templates that we can use for our blog. Now, I personally like to use two templates when it comes to planning new blog content. The first one is the long tail keyword generator template. Now let's just say we have a coffee website and we want to plan out new blog content for that coffee website. So I'm going to put down coffee for my seed keyword and we could tell how many total keywords we want ChatGPT to generate. And this is our prompt template. Now this has been designed to generate some amazing long tail keywords for your seed keyword. And if you want, you can edit this prompt template if you wish by deleting things or changing out some sentences and words, but I'm going to leave it as is and click on execute template. Now just give it a few seconds for it to complete. And here we have a table of 20 long tail keywords all around my seed keyword of coffee. We have here best coffee beans for espresso, where to buy organic coffee online, and as you can see, these long tail keywords are a perfect starting point for blog titles. And what's great is that ChatGPT also included the search intent for each one. Now, this is helpful because it will kind of inform you in terms of what type of content to create for each one of these long tail keywords. So now when you are planning out your blog content, you could basically just go down this list. You could write a blog article about this long tail keyword with informational content. And then you could create another article around where to buy organic coffee online with a transactional search intent and go down the list. Now, let's just say your website is more e-commerce focused. So you want to focus on long tail keywords with maybe a commercial search intent like this one right here. Best coffee maker for home use and also decaf coffee that tastes good. Now, like what I mentioned earlier, you can edit the prompt template if you want. So what I'm going to do here is edit this sentence. So I'm going to say, I want you to generate a list of 20 long tail keywords for coffee and then add that have a commercial search intent only. Okay. So this is the additional piece of information that I will add to this specific sentence, then click on execute template. So now ChatGPT is only showing me the long tail keywords with a commercial search intent. So these long tail keywords are much more focused on the type of content I want to write for my blog. So best coffee makers for beginners, top rated coffee beans for espresso and so forth. Now I have an easier way to weave in products that I sell inside my blogs, targeting these long tail keywords with more of that commercial search intent. Now we could take our blog content planning even further with another template. So I'm going to click on templates. And for the templates drop down, I'm going to click on keyword strategy. So this template takes it a few steps further. I'm going to add my seed keyword right here and tell it how many total keywords I want it to generate. And this is the prompt template. Now this one will create a keyword strategy from my seed keyword. So it's a lot more in depth than the first one we just used. So I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, so here we have 50 closely related keywords for an SEO strategy plan for our main keyword of coffee. Okay, so as we could see here, we have 50 keywords and they are categorized as well. It also included the search intent for each one of these keywords. And it goes even further by providing us with a title and a description for our articles. 
So now we don't need to take the time to brainstorm the titles and descriptions. They are already given to us in this table. So these first six keywords are under the coffee types category and most of them are commercial search intent aside from this one, which is informational, single origin coffee versus blend. And then the next batch of keywords are categorized under coffee brewing methods with different search intents. And then the next batch of keywords are coffee accessories and so forth. So within a few seconds, we have an entire blog content plan that we could start using immediately because we have the long tail keywords here, the search intent, and also the title and description. So now you have no excuse of struggling to come up with fresh blog content for your website. So go ahead and install the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on and start using the keyword research templates to plan out your blog content. So if you enjoyed this video, let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. And if you want to check out other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. Thanks, and we will see you in the next one.